So previously we built this dashboard using Streamlit in Python. Uh, the dashboard is a cast stock dashboard that basically shows us the amount of cars in our portfolio, the average par price, the car count, the earliest make year, the price per color and all of those. In this video we are going to build something similar to the dashboard uh, but this time with Google Looker Studio. I like the fact that uh, with Google Looker Studio I like the drag and drop functionality and I also just like the fact that um, you can easily share the link when you build the dashboard with other people so let's get into it so we're just going to go to google Lucas studio google Dia studio um yeah we are okay so yes google Lucas studio and um one of the things i first of all want to show us is the templates that you have available on Lucas studio so these are as you can see on the template gallery these are the dashboards that are, that have already been built and you can basically just um, grab them plug your own data sources to them and they work specifically just like they are so for example you see this is a GA4 report this is um, ACME marketing they are connected to Google Analytics this is connected to um, BigQuery so if you have your data in BigQuery you can take one of these dashboards plug your data into it and it works like that this is YouTube Analytics for example Google Ads Overview uh, depending on what you're trying to build so you can basically take any one of this for example, this word population data. Yeah, so this word population data, you can basically take any one of these, plug your data into it. As you can see, use my own data, plug your data into it, and it will basically just um, show exactly the same dashboard as it is. You don't have to do anything, it should be exactly the same dashboard as it is, and then it works for you. And you could just be doing that and working smart. But in our case, we want to actually build something from, from scratch. So we're going to go to, we want to create a new report. Now, um, first thing that you see it is it asks us to connect to our to data and you see you can connect to different kinds of data you can connect to BigQuery you can connect to um, file you can upload a file a CSV file can connect to Google Ads um, you can connect to a lot of things actually you can connect to GCS maybe GCS bucket Google Cloud Storage you can connect to YouTube Analytics um, different but in our case we my data is already on Google Sheets so I'm just going to load the Google Sheets data plug in the Google Sheet data and everything works. So use first row as headers, include hidden and filter cell here. So just add that and then our data set is basically um, loaded up. So don't forget this is the exact kind of dashboard we want to we want to build the exact kind of dashboard that we built for the car stock dashboard. So add to report and then add and it's going to load now. So so continue <clears throat> now good so i'm going to first of all remove this so first thing we want to first thing we want to do we want to first of all plug in uh, maybe all of these filters here these three filters for manufacturer automation and the use category so let us do that quickly So now all of our filters are done. So basically all of the filters that you see here, I've already added that. And what I want to do now is just to then build all of this average price, car count, and the earliest make here. And like I said, it's a drag and drag and drop functionality. So basically you can just drag things here and there and then you're good to go. So wait, let's do that now.
so first i'm going to create a price so in the previous video what we did was to divide the price by 1000 to basically use that as our conversion from naira which i think the data is two dollars and that's exactly what i'm going to do So average price is done. I'm just going to duplicate that and just do the same thing for uh, the cars. But before I do that, let me just add dollar sign to this. So how we can easily do that is to come here. Now I'm going to change this to currency. Then um, here we can select the dollar. And I think the number should be pretty much 6147. We can also round this off to the nearest um, to the nearest So this is also done. So now we have the basic values that we calculated earlier, average price, the car count, the earliest make here. What we then want to do, I can edit this quickly. What we then want to do now is to build the other, um, what we want to do here is to build this other um, bars that we have, the price per color and the price per manufacturer. Of course, this is still, I'm just basically building this on a plain sheet. We can add some theme and color to it towards the end of the video. So let us just build the bars for now. So perfect. Um, you see now we have the price per color, price per manufacturer. You can of course play with the colors to change that. If for example, I want to change this color to for the price per manufacturer to something else, I can of course do that. And I will do that from here. From here, the default is blue. I can probably change that to pink. I'm not really worried about the color for now. And one of the reasons why I've just left this here is I could, for example, maybe put the logo of our company here, and this is where I've left this here, so I can maybe um, insert a um, picture. So I can insert a picture. I'm gonna put from my computer. I think I took a screenshot yesterday, um, which is basically, um, um, yeah, this guy. This is basically this guy and uh yeah we can put the logo so let's assume that this is the logo of our company and i think i also have some lines here i'm going to put those lines now so we add some lines here just put let's just insert the line you can just insert the line like this so this is a straight line and then we can just use this to divide the dashboard into oh, no. 
You can use this, so first of all, I think this is the most important one. Perfect. So we also put another line here. So really easy. Like I said, it's a drag and drop solution. I really like the fact that I can easily do things quickly, put things together and then everything works uh, perfectly. So the last part of the, what we want to do is just this last part. So let's do the pie first, the bar, and then we come to this uh, last segment. So the pie is supposed to show us the seat make distribution and the make here distribution. In terms of what we want to make here so obviously we need to drag this a little bit to the side so that we can have that um, that uh, okay so um so pretty much we have our um and i can let's add a title yeah which is the uh, make here distribution like we did for that So make your distribution now also in and uh, now we want to put in all of this minimum price of car selected maximum price of car selected and we can easily do that also Perfect. So now we also um, have that and we can uh, just change this to this and then when we have the first one I'm just going to duplicate it as well. So in this case it becomes uh, maximum. this case we have um, median so as you can see now our dashboard is ready what we built with Python here uh, it took us quite some time to do this in Python but <laughs> Um, with Lucas Studio, it's quite a drag and drop solution and our dashboard is ready. Um, I have a previous video where I built this, so if you're interested, you can check that up somewhere here. Uh, just check through my YouTube channel and you see a video on how I did this. Um, and now we have our dashboard. If we want, we can also add some sort of team and uh, arrange the layout um, as we please. Um, another beautiful layout that I um, found 
is maybe this guy and our dashboard looks like this i think it looks pretty um cool of course you can get a little bit more uh fancy with yours and um yeah just change the colors around to um do whatever you want i hope this video was able for you and i hope that you try out your hands on lucas studio because it's a very pretty cool pretty um, tool to know and to add to your arsenal as a data analyst or even as a data scientist um yeah thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure you check out my previous video where i showed um six easy ways of how you can learn data science in a very easy and straightforward way check it out subscribe and i'll see you in the next one